Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today with this video, I am going to start a new series on Copado, in which we will cover everything related to Copado from basic to advanced. So if you are interested to learn Copado, then please watch this complete video series. This will really help you to learn and get certificates in Copado. So let's start first video of this series and discuss on today's agenda. So as this is an introduction session, so firstly we will look what is Copado. Next we will look challenges in the Salesforce application development life cycle management. The next advantages of using Copado. Then we will discuss how you can get started with Copado. And at last we will discuss how you can get free voucher for the Copado certifications. So please watch this complete video. Here I will show you like how you can get free voucher for the Copado certifications. Okay, so let's start with first question that is what is Copado? So we can say Copado is the complete end-to-end -end DevOps solution for the Salesforce which provides simple configuration and point and click UI. So with the help of them, we can perform all the DevOps activities without having much knowledge of loads of deployment and CI/CD tools means with the help of Copado user interface we can perform all the DevOps activities from our Salesforce app like configure deployment pipeline, configure CI CD, auto backups, metadata syncing and many more from single place and Copado is built on top of Salesforce so we can say this is a native DevOps tool for the Salesforce and available as a managed package means Copado team already implemented all the DevOps activities and formed them as a package so if anyone wants to use Copado in their Salesforce org in that case they just need to go on the app action and install that package and Copado provides a complete system to plan, track and carry out our DevOps activities and Copado is available in both free and paid version Copado essential is the free version over here we will get limited set of functionalities and Copado CI CD is the paid version over here we will get full version of functionalities. So in that sale we can say Copado is the native Salesforce DevOps tool. So with the help of that we can perform all the DevOps activities from Salesforce app. Now let's discuss about basic challenges in general Salesforce development lifecycle management. So the first is no clear overview of the whole process. So whenever we are going to build a new functionality in Salesforce, then as of now, we do not have any functionality or any built-in tool. So where we can define like how and where these changes will be implemented and deployed. So if you can see in this image, so as like this, we can also have multiple orgs for our projects like production, integration, hotfixes and development orgs and UAT orgs. So as of now we do not have any built-in functionality in Salesforce where we can define like in which org we will do the development and where we will deploy it first and how that change will be deployed to the production. Next we have lack of history tracking. So we can say this is the biggest challenge as of now in the Salesforce because when multiple developers work on a single file or a component in that case we do not have any tracking for the changes. Next we have difficulty keeping environments in sync. It means when we have multiple environments and we have done changes in one of them and deployed to the production in that case other lower environments will be outdated and that change will not exist in other lower environments. So as of now we have only one way to sync other lower environments that is that is sandbox refresh but we have uh, many limitations with that like we can refresh only once in a month. Next we have limited set of quality checks and changes. It means as of now we have only apex test to check the quality of our implementation but as of now there is no way to check our code quality and coding standards. Next we have lack of monitoring and compliance. It means as of now we do not have any other way to define the custom compliance rules. For example, let's say you want to restrict the delete operations for the known admin profiles and if someone assigned that delete permission to a permission sets and if he will deploy that permission set to the higher environment, in that case we do not have any automated way to test that functionality. As of now we need to check those functionalities manually. Next we have advantages of using Copado. 
so the first is this is a point and click ui tool it means with copedo you can do everything with the ui and you do not require to run any commands over here so this will be very easy and with the less knowledge of tools you can work with copedo next we have single source of truth it means with the help of copedo you can manage everything from the single application like creating and managing the user storage tracking the changes regarding those define quality checks and deploy the changes and everything related to devops you can do from the single application next we have agile implementation so in the copedo you can work on the agile uh, they have their built-in functionalities like creating the user storage epics sprints and all the things or you can also integrate your third-party agile applications like jira and azure devops and many others next we have quality checks so with the help of copedo you can define your custom quality checks to maintain the code quality and to prevent deployment errors next we have integration with the git and every salesforce org will be connected to the git so you will have better version control system over here next we have ci cd implementation so in copedo we can define continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines next we have easy customization as you know copedo built on top of salesforce so if you want to add any custom field and if you want to add any custom process in that case you can do easily so we can say with the help of copedo we can eliminate all the challenges that we have in the salesforce software development life cycle we will learn them one by one in the uh, future videos now let's see how you can get started with copedo for learning and certifications for that we need to go on the copedo community website and this is the link for that and i will paste this link to the description so let me walk through this website so on this website you will find everything related to copedo like for the training for the certifications and everything so to get started with uh, we need to first login so over here you will find a login and sign up button so if you have already created an account then you can directly log in from here else you need to fill a sign up form and you will get an email and you need to log in from there so now let me log in into this and after login into this website if you want to learn copedo in that case you need to click on this academy tab and you need to navigate on the all learnings and over here you will find all academy courses so here you will find everything related to copedo learning so you can see over here there are uh, four trails it means like you can do four certificates in copedo so the very first is uh, fundamental one second fundamental two and and if you are from the application testing background then you can do this copedo robotic testing and for the advanced copedo you can do consultant certificates also and now let's say you want to get start with the fundamental one this is the very basic certificate then you need to click on this so as like trailhead you will find over here multiple modules so let's say you want to start with this what is copedo then you need to click over here now you need to click on the register and now you can launch these tabs here you will find videos and content so you can start learning from here and once you will complete the first chapter in uh, after that you can start with the second one also okay now let me come back to my ppt now let's discuss about how you can get free voucher so in order to get free voucher you need to join copedo free training that is conducted by copedo every month in different time zones and for different certificates so let me show you how you can uh, check available trainings and how you can get registered for them so here on training tab once you will click then you will find a training calendar so you need to open this training calendar here on this page you will find all the available trainings in this month for different different time zones and for the different different certificates as of now we have only one training in this month so let me check in the next month 
so now you can see over here there are lots of trainings so here you can see on the 6 december fundamental one training will be uh, there in australia time zone that is on 3 pm to 5 pm and you can see like there are trainings for lots of uh, different different time zones like gmt and for ist and for different different certificates also like this is for fundamental one this is for fundamental two and this is for robotic testing so you can choose whatever trainings and time suits to you and you can click on register so once you will click on that register button if you have already completed all the prerequisites in that case you will get a registration email and link to join the meeting on the respective date and time and if you haven't completed prerequisites or the modules which you have which we have seen in the last slide in that case you need to complete those modules and you will have those modules over here whatever modules required for this training like for this uh, fundamental one training you require to complete these three modules what is copedo Copedo branching strategy and Copedo workshop enablement. Okay, so this is the only prerequisites to join the training. So once you complete these modules, then you can come back over here and click on the register. So once you join and complete the training, then at the end of training, they will provide you the voucher. With the help of that voucher, you can register for that. Okay, but before that, like you need to complete these modules. So what you need to do, you need to go into the academy again. All learning here you can find all the modules those are required like what is copied this is here so you can click on this and you can complete this module okay next we have how to register for the certificate exam so once you get the voucher after that you need to come back on the copied website and here you will find all the available certificates so you can select your certificate and click on this add to cart button you will get this pop-up and you need to click on this go to cart so here you have a option add coupon and you need to paste that coupon over here and click on the apply so once you will apply that uh, coupon in that case uh, total payable amount will be zero and you can click on checkout so once you will complete with the checkout after that you can go on that trail again now this will be available for you so here you do not need to schedule it for any specific date and time you can give it whenever you want you just need to click on this and you can start your exam okay now let's discuss about the certification exam so in this exam you will get 30 multi choice questions and you will get 60 minutes to complete this and 70 percent marks required to pass it and the good thing is that you can give two attempts in a single voucher so if you get failed in the first attempt then you can also try second with the same voucher and at last this is a non-proctored exam and one more thing like you do not need to schedule this exam you can give this exam whenever you want okay so that's it for this video in next video we will see how we can create playground to do hands-on practice with copado so please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel i will see you in the next video